History is witness that the human influence from the very beginning, knowingly or unknowingly, has had a hand in the extinction of a number of animal species, be it because of plundering their habitats, uprooting the animals from their native habitats, climate change or hunting, a sport, if one should even call it a sport, which should be banned completely. So in this video, we have gathered information on the animals that exist no more in our world due to human interference. Let's start with the elephant bird. Well, this elephant bird was a three meter tall bird that weighed about half a ton and was found on the island of Madagascar. Its eggs were estimated to be even larger than the eggs of a dinosaur. The humans arrived on this island somewhere between 2,500 to 4,000 years ago. They hunted the bird to its extinction about a thousand years back. Researchers believe that the humans hunted the birds for food or ate their eggs. But how much of a role did humans really play in the decline of the elephant bird? A new study raises more questions when in the year 2008, the bones of elephant birds were found and that too with grooves, cut marks. Scientists realize that these cut marks, these grooves were made by human tools. Therefore, the study proves the authenticity of the established theory of how elephant birds became extinct. Next comes the Hast Eagle. Hast's Eagle was a giant eagle and the largest predator among New Zealand's prehistoric fauna. It was the largest, the heaviest eagle species that weighed up to 17.8 kg with a wingspan of up to 3 meters. The near-complete skeleton finds of this bird show that its body and wings were of a giant eagle's. Its legs and bill were larger and stronger than the largest living vulture species and the feet and claw as big as tigers. Has seagull went extinct about 500 to 600 years ago, the same time as that of all Maoa species became extinct. Overhunting of this eagle's food, the Maoa by humans, was probably the primary cause of its extinction. Also, the loss of habitat due to the burning of South Island dry mosaic forests and shrublands by humans may have caused decline in its prey species. Has seagull's bones were worked into tools and this may have also been a major reason for it to be hunted by humans. Mawa. It's so sad that New Zealand's largest birds probably became extinct within just 100 years of humans first arriving in New Zealand. That is around 1380. However, there were unconfirmed sightings of Mawa by whalers and sailors into the 18th and even 19th centuries. Mawa was a family of 11 species of flightless birds that were only found within New Zealand. The largest species grew up to 3.7 meters tall and weighed up to 230 kilograms. No wonder they were hunted by Maori. They were the only wingless birds known to have existed. Prior to their extinction, they were the dominant plant eaters in New Zealand's forests and only had one predator, the Hassi, the largest eagle ever known to exist and also the victim of extinction following the demise of the Maua to hunting by Maori. The Aura Most of the cattle breeds, the cows, the bulls, the ox we know today, are descended from the huge prehistoric cattle known as Aura. These large animals roamed the woods and glades of Europe and Asia for thousands of years until the last of the species, a female, died in Poland in 1627. The males were huge animals. 1.8 meters at the shoulder and 900 kgs, significantly larger than most of our cattle breeds today. Unlike modern breeds of cattle, the male and female aurochs were a different color. A bull was black with a pale stripe along his spine, while the female was more reddish brown. Humans cut down forests to make room for their animals to graze, plus space to plant crops. The native habitat loss, plus competition with their domesticated relatives and hunting all contributed to the extinction of the aurochs. The dodo bird. The dodo was a bird species that went extinct during the mid 17th century. The dodo bird belonged to the same family as pigeons and doves. This bird grew to around 3 feet in height and weighed anywhere between 23 and 39 pounds. Males were larger than females. It was an endemic species and could only be found on the island of Mauritius in Indian Ocean. The dodo bird was hunted to extinction. The bird was unafraid of humans since they were fearless as there was a lack of natural predators throughout the island of Mauritius. The dodo bird had not learned to be afraid of any other species. And so they faced the European explorers and discoverers with curiosity rather than fear. 
their ignorant behavior combined with their flightless status made them an easy target for human hunters and quickly the dodo became a staple in the diet of European sailors. The Sardinian Pika The Sardinian was native to the islands of Sardinia, Costa Rica and neighboring Mediterranean islands until its extinction in the Roman times or perhaps as late as the 1700s or early 1800s. The Sardinian pika weighed about 500 grams and probably was much stockier and robust than extant species of pikas and it probably resembled a sort of cross between a large wild rabbit and a pika. The Sardinian pika became extinct in Costa Rica and Sardinia probably during the Roman times due to agricultural practices, the introduction of predators, dogs, cats and ecological competitors, rodents, rabbits and hares. The Stellar Sea Cow Stellar Sea Cow, a very large aquatic mammal that once inhabited near shore areas of the Commander Islands in the Bering Sea, became extinct within 30 years after they were first discovered in the 18th century by Arctic explorers. These sea cows were wiped out by hunters. Reaching a length of 9 to 10 meters and a weight of perhaps 10 metric tons, it was much larger than present day manatees and dugongs. The sea cow had a relatively small head and a broad horizontal fork tail fluke. It had small stumpy flippers near the front of the body that were used for moving over rocky areas and for holding fast to rocks in rough seas. The bark-like skin was dark brown, sometimes streaked or spotted with white. Sea cows had no teeth, instead they relied on horny plates in the mouths to compact their soft food which consisted of kelp and seaweed near the ocean's surface along the shore. They floated at the surface but had limited ability to submerge and therefore were easy targets for harpooning by hunters. The Blue Buck The Blue Buck was a species of antelopes that went extinct by around 1800. It roamed the grasslands of Africa while its overall appearance and behavior were much similar to the modern-day Southern African Rowan Antelope and the Sable Antelope. Blue bucks have been depicted in the ancient African rock paintings. According to some historical accounts, these animals formed herds of up to 20 individuals. They were herbivores, fed on grass, not particularly fresh, but medium to long grasses and love grasses. Scientists believe that these animals had begun to decline even before the first European settlers arrived in the 17th century. Though, finally, these settlers majorly contributed to their extinction by relentlessly hunting them and ultimately converting that habitat into farmland. By the beginning of the 18th century, these creatures were completely wiped off. The Great Ark the Great Ark was a charming penguin-like bird that swam the waters and waddled along the shores of the North Atlantic. Great Ark breeding colonies once dotted the coasts of Canada, Britain and many islands in between. Unfortunately for these cute birds, everything including their feathers, meat, fat and oil made them inviting targets for human hunters. The last time a Great Ark was seen alive was in the year 1852, but today it only remains in old stories and of course, the bones, as a preserved specimen. The Atlas Bear This extinct subspecies of brown bear was once Africa's only native bear. The Atlas Bear inhabited the Atlas Mountain region from Morocco to Libya and its neighboring areas. The outward color of Atlas Bear was primarily brownish black, while the underpart was reddish orange. The decline in Atlas Bear's numbers came from various reasons, such as environmental changes and habitat loss during which the desert also expanded. Overhunting by local tribes as well as the introduction of modern-day firearms, which made it easier to kill them, believed to have played a massive role in worsening their number. Numbers downfall could also be partially attributed to Roman Empire. Along with other wild species, the Romans hunted and captured the Atlas Bear to use them in gruesome sports. This subspecies finally went extinct around the late 19th century. The Wara The Falkland Islands wolf, or Wara, may have been the world's loneliest land mammal. It was marooned for thousands of years on the wind-swept Falkland Islands with only seabirds, penguins and seals for company. These animals represented an enigma to early explorers, scientists and natural historians. 
Charles Darwin, the father of the theory of evolution, visited the islands in 1834 and mused on the origins of this odd creature. How did a medium-sized mammal make the 460-kilometer journey from the South American mainland? And why was it the only land mammal to have done so? The Falkland Islands wolf was hunted to extinction within 200 years of its discovery. The last animal was killed 40 years after Darwin's visit to the islands, taking the secret of its origins with it. The Eastern Elk Elk was once the most widely distributed of North American hoofed mammals. Adaptable to a variety of habitats, elk were found in most ecosystems except the tundra, deserts and the Gulf Coast. The fossil bones of elk have been found in shell heaps in Maine and at archaeological sites in Rhode Island. Elk antlers have been discovered in bogs in Vermont and a pond in New Hampshire. Much larger than their white-tailed deer cousins, male elk weighed 600 to 1,000 pounds, while females are about 25% smaller. The bulls sport massive spreading antlers. The animals are tawny or cream-colored except for a dark brown mane around the head and the neck. Like the dodo, the elks feared nothing. They continued to move around even with foraging near settlements, especially in winter, making them easy targets. Reportedly, settlers often killed more elk than needed. Thank you for watching the video. We hope that you liked it. Strange, isn't it, that we consider ourselves as the most developed species and yet we have not learned much from our historical records. So let's try and not repeat these mistakes again. Let us pledge to save God's beautiful creations and share the world with every creature. Meanwhile, there are a lot more animal species that no longer exist due to human interference, which we will be covering in part two and three of this video series. Thank you and have a good day.